Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and holy favorite and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, thank you for the love and support that you send me each and every day. The beautiful comments drop on me each and every day. And it is, it's just the beautiful vibes that you know I send to you and you return and send them the same to me amongst the other people in the community. So I'm gratefully appreciated of that. Appreciative of that. <laughs> and for that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming for you. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when you're real about to upload the next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of my video, or you're just telling me about the impact of the gift that has been placed upon you. Or if you feel like the video has just gave you some good understanding, or just gave you a good place in your heart, go ahead and spread the love, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It's all greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. And I hope you're able to get something out of the video. And today, the powerful meditation music I'm listening to today is called Powerful Music to Blow Open Crown Chakra. You know, some of us need that. You know, go ahead and open that mess up. Go ahead and get us some, you know, some knowledge. But anyways, but my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's getting a life on track. You know, we go through so many things. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. To the where you get tired of just being tired. And, you know, you deal with different folks with different strokes. And, you know, you're just dealing with things and, you know, dealing with these, the, the lunar eclipse, the shifts, you know, your kundalinis, your awakenings, and your ascensions. It's a lot. It really is a lot, especially when you're going through things, learning so much new stuff about yourself, which can probably put you in shock. You know, learning new things all the time. It can... You know, it could be frustrating at times. It could be exciting at times. You know, I've been getting so many different comments about people telling me, oh my gosh, you know, my awakening is driving me crazy. Or, oh, my awakening, I'm having a, a ball. You know, it just really depends on how you look at things. It just really depends on how you look at things. But the blessing is that you're trying to get your life on track. You're trying to get your life on track. And that's the only good thing about it. It's just, the, you know, we might stumble, we might fall, we might have our setbacks, like I always say. We always have setbacks. We always have disappointments. We might put things in too much of an expectation where, you know, like, oh, you know, this might happen this time. And then we get upset when things don't turn out the way they're supposed to. But, you know, there's always reasons behind the things that we go through. Maybe it's just like when we're on our verge of getting our life on track and we're doing things that we need to do you know we get frustrated when things don't come on time but you know it's just like you know when do we know when things are actually on time so it's just really crazy sorry i gotta get loud because uh there's some people outside cutting the yard and everything so i apologize about that i thought they were going to be almost finished but um but yeah when we go through things like that we always go through frustrations because it's like you know, we can be we can be very grateful for the things we go through. When you when you get tired of going through the things you're going through and you're just ready for a change. You know, like I said in my other video, when you know when when things are ready for a change. But we will have the signs come into our life. We will have the synchronicities come into our lives to so let us know, you know, our lives are starting to change. There's better things that's coming into fruition. Even though we might have setbacks or you know, we might have things that work our nerves. You know, it's all a growing process. We all have to go through that. You know, go through a growing process through anything we do. You know, especially going through this awakening, you probably finding out stuff about yourself that's just got you like, well, <laughs> well, I knew I was different, but I didn't know it was that far. You know, and we do think that way. At least I know I do. You know, because it's just like when I can sit back at all the things that, I've been through and all the things that I've like recently accomplished 
or I'm finding out new about myself, you know, I can sit back and just like say, wow, you know, that this sounds surreal to me, even though I know it's real. You know, do you ever think about your life, especially going through these things and finding out more things about yourself that you didn't really even know? that can just seem so amazing. It's just like, dag, it sounds like a movie. You know, is this real? Is this something I'm going through? Am I really doing this? I mean, sometimes we get like that. Sometimes we really do. And I know I must be talking about something because, oh my goodness. Oh, I ain't fair enough to trust that. You know, people tell me I'll be fair and stuff. But no, it's just the fact is, you know, when you were on that path, we're on that path to greatness. You find out so many different things. And you have to be grateful for it, even though sometimes you might be angry because, you know, maybe people seeing things in you that you were probably wouldn't able to see in yourself. And you probably, you know, the things that you have lacked in, you are probably gain weaknesses in it. So it's just a blessing and it's just a process where we always go through things. You know, you're on that track. You're going to see things that you go through. You're going to learn from all the mistakes that you have had. You know, you're going to learn different things from people that come close to your path, whether it's good or bad. But you have to accept, you know, hey, I learned something from this person. or I learned things from this different experience. And I can be grateful for it. I can be aggravated. But, you know... In the long run, when you think about the things that you have been through and you know you're on this track to greatness, you know, you can look back at it and just say, hey, you know, damn, this was a really wild ride, but it's taught me so much. So when you know you're on that track, you know, you might be frustrated at things and wonder why things are the way they are, but then, you, you know, you can appreciate the things that you go through you can appreciate that downtime because that gives you so much time you know like i say all the time when we're waiting on our blessings to arrive that gives us so many so much opportunity to go ahead and heal from the things we need to heal from learn from the things we learn from and grow from them you know and it's just like i get aggravated sometimes like today you know i had to take my daughter to registration and <laughs> to go get a registration is just like when you're an empath and you're trying to you know i was just telling y'all about this the other day when you were so uh used to dealing with things like through a computer or over the phone to pour, you know because i don't really have to do anything out of my house so when i have to go step out in society and have to deal with folks you talking about somebody nerves wrecking getting aggravated like oh i'm ready to go home <laughs> i'm so ready to go home because you just you know, when you're ready for a change and it just get aggravating every year. But thank God we only have to do that once a year. But I was like, I was just so happy because it's just like my daughter's a senior. My last baby's a senior this year. So I don't have to worry about doing this anymore until the college time. So it, it's just like, it's a blessing to have to be able to go through all these things. Even though it can be frustrating at times, but you learn things all the time. You learn things as you go. You heal from things as you go. You know, you learn different things about people that you probably thought you had things figured out that you didn't have figured out. You know, people have left your life. You're going to add new people into your life. But this time when you added people into your life, it was on the same level as you. So, you know, I, I appreciate all the new people that are coming in my life because it's a good thing. When you can actually discuss things, you don't have to worry about somebody looking at you like, oh, God, is she crazy? Or is he crazy? Or is this person out of their mind? What the heck are they talking about? Because you already know if you go speaking about some stuff like this and people are not on your level, they're going to be clueless. But it, it's just like, you know, I'm just trying to cover everything. But, you know, when you're on that track and you're just trying to get your life back on track, you'll, you'll understand what I'm saying. You go through all these different changes, but knowing... These changes are for the positive. Even though you might have some bad experiences or whatever, they all are learning experiences. So when you're getting your life on track, know that you're going to go through things. Knowing every day is not going to be perfect. You know, you're going to have the days, you're going to have the sunny days, and you got to have the rain. You know, you got to have everything to equal the balance. You're going to have your good days and your bad days. But just know that you're taking that step forward to go on the right track. So I hope you are able to get something out of this message. I hope you are having a starting off ahead of having a blessed week. I know my day didn't start off too good. But hey, it's ending good because it's going to be another day to start a new one. So I hope you 
were able to get something out of the video, drop me a line. I love the chance to get to know you, you know, especially if it's about the positive feedback of the video or, you know, you're talking about your empath to give. Like and subscribe, you know, even share the video if you see fit. And send out as much love and light to everybody, you know, as you possibly can. You know, send, send out positivity if you possibly can. You know, try to keep your vibes up, you know, as I know sometimes it's hard to do. And if you see somebody else like that, try to cheer them up is basically you know how you get blessings that way. So, remember that you are highly blessed and highly favored. And know you are truly loved. And know that there is somebody out there always praying for your better days. And I will see you on my next video. Peace and be wild.